Hey there, everyone. I just found out about this JavaScript application called HubPress, available at hubpress.io. And basically, it lets you operate a blog right through GitHub Pages. So this software is free, and GitHub Pages is also free. You basically just need to create a, an account over at GitHub, and you can set this thing up to, to operate a website through GitHub all totally free. So basically, this is the website for it. Let's just go ahead and scroll down here past all of the initial information. And uh, we'll get on down here uh, to this button fork on GitHub. We'll go ahead and click through that. Uh, you'll need a GitHub account. It's totally free. Just sign up for it. And once you do that, uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and sign in. I should already be signed in here. So ah, great. That took a while for my web browser to load up. So let's go ahead and get that. Uh, my browser already has my passwords stored in it. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we just did here. Um, we just logged in. This is the project's GitHub page. Uh, you can scroll on down here and it actually gives you information about installing right here too. So uh, we're just going to skip past that and we're going to go right to installing it. All you have to do is press this fork button right up here at the top right. We'll press that. It'll take a moment, and basically what it's doing is it's creating the repo on your account, and then it's copying it right over, and it's all done. It's uh, it, You can actually see right up here, it's now set up through my account. So we just forked this, and this is my own copy of it. And all we need to do now is go over to the settings, and we just need to change this name up so that it's your username .github.io. And uh, my username is Ugotsta, and so we got that .github.io. And the reason for that is that uh, this is the address that GitHub uses for GitHub pages. You just need your username .github.io, and you'll be able to access the code as if it's a website. So you basically have an index.html file, and it it'll it'll display that for you. And what we're doing here is we're renaming this repo that we just um, copied and forked over uh, to that particular name so that it'll be publicly accessible. And let's see, whoops, so we'll just go right back up here to the top and click on rename. So there we go, we've got that renamed. And at this point, there's just one more step to go. And that's to go into this HubPress folder right here. And we're going to go down to this config.json file. And right here, we'll go ahead and edit this file. And we just need to enter in the information for our account. And uh, in this particular case, we need our username here. That's our username for GitHub. And that's my username there. And uh, let's see our repository again. So github.io once again. And we'll go on here down to the bottom. You can actually add uh, comments with any changes that you make. I'm just going to leave that blank and go to commit changes. And that's basically it. That's all set to go now. The software actually starts you off with a very basic template. You can actually uh, choose different templates. I'll mention more about that in a bit. But basically, we can just go to yougotsta.github.io uh, now. And we should see the logo. There we go. And this is the start of it all. And uh, once you're here, you can go and type in slash uh, hub press. And that gets to the administration screen, which is right here. Oh, we'll have to enter in our account information. You're basically just going to enter in your uh, GitHub account information. This uses that your GitHub account to communicate with the server in order to actually create and edit files and stuff. So we'll go ahead and log, log in. Right, and once we're in the interface, uh, you can you can see you can go ahead and create new posts right here. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick is just click on here up at the top and go to settings. And uh, there are some settings that you might want to actually uh, make adjustments to, like for instance, the name. I'm just going to go ahead and type in a quick name, go code. And uh, you can edit a bunch of this other information. You can change the, the theme here. This software actually utilizes handlebar templates for the themes, so you can basically use any um, any handlebar template. I've yet to try test this out, but I'm pretty sure that this will actually work with any um, any templates that are available for the Ghost CMS software. 
which are which is handlebars based. So I'll go ahead and scroll down here uh, to the bottom and click submit. That should change make those changes. And so we've now got a name to this website and I'm going to click here and go to posts. Let's just go ahead and create a new post real quick. To create a post, you just type in equals and a uh, title. Uh, let's just, uh, let's say um, setting up a new Hubpress site. And uh, HP tags, I believe, whoops, colon, and then tags, colon, uh, Hubpress. Uh, we want that for the tags. And for this, uh, let's just say, uh, yeah, just got uh, got uh, hub press uh, set up uh, here. GitHub uh, uh, page, page, pages. Um, loving it so so far. <laughs> More to come. Okay, and oh, you've got these options. This option up here to. Uh, see what this is going to look like on the site. Uh, yeah, you can actually see right here the tag got added on. That's because I entered in this uh, uh, HP tags. So you can basically, whoops, uh, it didn't let me edit that from here. Okay, there's a little JavaScript mess going on there. The, 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 this particular software is still uh, considered, I believe it's considered in beta still. So there's still a lot more work to be done with it, but it works great for uh, for basic usage so far. So basically, you can enter in uh, tags for like that, and uh, you can uh, down here at the bottom, you have the option to save the post or publish it. I'm just going to go ahead and publish it right away, and let's see how that goes. It takes a moment. It's basically communicating with your uh, GitHub repo, and I believe that's basically it. So let's just go ahead and go back to the post page, and we can see you've got that post there. And let's go to back to the website itself, yougots.github.io. And actually, we should refresh that because it's JavaScript based, so you need to clear the cache. And that's it. You've got this uh, basic website set up uh, for uh, blogging. And since it uses uh, handlebar templates, which are incredibly easy to work with, you, you're free to go ahead and uh, edit the code so that it works exactly the way you want it to. You can have a pretty a pretty powerful website here using just uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So basically, that's it for now. Hopefully, I'll get some more videos up soon. See you in another video.